What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and this is the 2020 Online Bullion Dealer Battle. Let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video, I do sincerely appreciate it. As always, if you'd like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you would just like to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so this is the 2020 online bullion dealer battle. Now, this battle is so big, so epic. I actually have you guys down here on the floor of my garage. I had to move us off the table. I do have my monster box of American Silver Eagles over here on the side, and we're going to be adding the tubes that I've ordered to the monster box. So here is how the battle works. I've ordered from three different online bullion dealers. So as you can see, we got SD Bullion, Provident Metals slash JM Bullion, and Monument Metals. I'm going to be scoring them this way. So we have uh, price, speed, how long it took them to uh, package it up and ship it out, uh, the actual packaging, how well it's packaged inside and out, the quality of the American Silver Eagles, and then the total amount of points. So I'm going to be scoring them from 0 to 3. So 3 is the highest score they can receive. Then they can get a 2 or a 1 if it's like somewhere in the middle. 0 is absolute worst score ever. So I'm really curious to see how these online bullion dealers um, are against each other. Now, obviously, um, JM Bullion recently bought out Provident Metals. So I'm just going to refer to this package here as Provident because I did buy it from Provident Metals. However, they are now owned by JM Bullion. So I'm putting that there. And uh, I also wanted to bring up that there are a lot of other online bullion dealers out there. I mean, you got Atmex, Bold Precious Metals, Silver Gold, Bull, uh, Modern Coin Mart. Um, th there's a whole bunch. The list goes on. Uh, but I went with these three because these were actually the cheapest American Silver Eagle tubes that I could buy for the month of January here in 2020. And so because these three had the best price, that's what I went ahead and bought for this battle. So, okay, let's start scoring these. And uh, I'm actually going to move these to the side for a second and show you real quickly how I'm doing on my monster box. Ugh, bring that into frame. So as you can see, these are all full tubes here of uh, American Silver Eagles. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 full tubes. We're going to be adding three more full tubes because of this battle. Um, but also at the boat, as a bonus, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you another tube that I bought from my local coin shop. So at the end, after we do the online battle, I'll show you this tube here as well. And we'll see how my LCS compares to the big boys. Okay, so let's move this over to the side and let's start the battle. So first up is price. So how much did each of these tubes of American Silver Eagles cost? And just so you guys know, these are all uh, random date American Silver Eagles, uh, brilliant uncirculated, or at least they're supposed to be. And so we will see, um, you know, they're all even. I didn't do anything different with the orders. So they should all be uh, uh, very comparable to each other. Now for price, on uh, SD Bullions, the cheapest for the month of January was $2.25 over spot, which is great. That's an awesome price. That's very affordable. Those were on sale. I think it was just for a couple days. And so great price on those. And obviously spot price fluctuated between all my orders, but that's how much I paid over spot per coin. The uh, tube from Provident slash JM Bullion was also $2.25 over spot. Uh, it was a great deal there as well. So those are both even. And then the one from Monument Metals was a little bit more. I think I paid $2.29 over spot. Um, and so a little bit more, but honestly, still a really good deal. So for all three of them, I'm going to score them uh, threes because I think, you know, anytime you can get American Silver Eagles for less than 250 per coin over spot. It's a great deal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give them all a three. So they all got perfect scores for price. So great uh, job on price, guys. 
Now, uh, let's talk about speed. So how long did it take them to get to me? Um, now, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to include the shipping in these because they're all different parts of the country. I live over here on the west coast of America and uh, SD Bullion, uh, they ship from Ohio. That's like the northeastern part of the Midwest. Uh, so that's kind of far away from me. Uh, Provident J and Bullion, they ship from Las Vegas, Nevada, which is obviously a western state. That's very close to me. And then Monument Metals is the farthest away. They ship from Maryland, and that's over on the east coast. So they're the farthest away from me. So I'm not going to count the shipping time. But if we just go how long it took them to package everything up, SD Bullion. Oh, and by the way, I did e-check on all three of these. So uh, Providence a little bit different. We'll talk about that. But SD Bullion took three days to take my e-check, package it all up, and ship it out. So very fast on SD Bullion. And uh, uh, so I'm very happy with that. Provident, they take what's called ACH, I believe. And basically what it is is it's similar to an e-check. So you still get the cash price, but they sort of link to your bank. Um, some people are kind of sketched out by it because you have to log into your bank from the website. Uh, but, you know, it worked great for me. I've never had any issues. It's very fast. So I'm pleased with that. It took them three days to take my money and go ahead and package it up and ship it out. So very fast from Providence. So they're both three days. Monument Metals took a little bit longer. I did e-check with them as well. And they took uh, five days to package it up and ship it out. So as far as speed goes... I'm going to give SD Bullion and uh, Provident both threes and Monument Metals. I'm going to give them a two uh, because they took a little bit longer. There you go. So as you can see, still very close in the uh, online bullion dealer battle, uh, but we have packaging next. So let's go ahead and unbox these. This should be pretty fun. And uh, I might have to edit this a little bit. Um, in case any of my personal information comes up, because obviously I don't want to show any of that. But um, as far as exterior packaging goes, this one was FedEx Express shipped, um, and it's packaged very well. It looks like there's a package in a package. Uh, obviously, these two are both Priority USPS, both of them very nicely packaged. Uh, I like the tape on the outside. That looks great. And then Monument Metals is very nicely taped in there. So all three of them, great exterior packaging. So let's go ahead and break them open and we can see how they're packaged on the inside. And hopefully I don't cut anything important when I do this, but uh, very excited. And I've got no idea what years I got. So we'll see what years I received as far, cause I got random uh, date. So there we go get that out of the way so that's nice that's a really hefty outer packaging box there from sd bullion okay had to edit out my personal info but uh yeah they got some promotional stuff in here and like a business card so that's pretty sweet so always welcome that and then they have here we go sd bearing supplies and uh looks like michigan that's interesting but they ship from ohio uh okay well anyway uh, this is nicely packaged as well. I like the padding on the inside. So let's go ahead and open this one up. So it's like a package in a package in a package. And this is what we got. So tube looks to be intact. Um, I like that they put tape around the top. So that all looks really great. It's uh, This is the actual American Silver Eagle tube that's supposed to come in. So packaging was absolutely perfect. Awesome, SD Bullion, great job with packaging. Obviously, that's a perfect score. So let's move on to Provident and JM and see how they hold up. I'm assuming this will be really good as well. I've always had a great experience with uh, Provident and JM Bullion as far as packaging goes. Oh yeah, got some bubble wrap in there, looks like. And they did put some of this in there to make sure it didn't move around too much. So that's great. Looks like my info's in there. I'm just gonna pull that out. Don't have to edit that, but yeah, this is nice. I like that they included some bubble wrap to make sure it was all nicely protected. So that's great. So we'll go ahead and open up this tube here. All right, and that one's got tape over the top. Very nice, looks, it's almost starting to come off. Maybe it wasn't fully secured on there, but um, all in all, very nicely packaged. So I'm happy with the way that they packaged it. 
very satisfied that receives a perfect score as well so let's move on to monument metals and see how they hold up to the other two online bullion dealers okay and i haven't done as many purchases from monument as the other two so it looks like we got a package in the package as well so that's awesome and i'll get my personal info out but they didn't have any extra padding on the inside so I, it, it could move around more than the other ones so that's not quite as good looks like it's in a priority mail express envelope which i like that it's bubble wrapped but you hear that uh-oh we might have an issue let's open it up so we got uh uh-oh we had a check it out guys uh open tube so we got open tube alert here and let's go ahead and take these eagles out so it looks like they did not have any tape over the top of the tube and it somehow opened in transit so that's unfortunate <laughs> uh okay and that is kind of a problem because um when these eagles come out of the tube and start moving around they can get lots of scratches on them extra scratches um let's see what year i got here uh looks like 1987 i wonder if these are all 1987s i think they are gonna be uh like this one here you can see definitely has some scratches on it so Technically, that's not brilliant uncirculated, and that's probably because it was moving around. You see that right there? Probably because it was moving around within the package during the uh, shipment. So that's actually kind of unfortunate. Um, not super happy about that. I do like that I got 1987s, an older year, but uh, wow. Yeah, definitely not, not living up to the competition there, uh, Monument, so kind of sad about that. But uh, regardless, we have to give them a score for packaging. Uh, the outer packaging was great. I like that they did the inner packaging, but look, they didn't do the tape like the other two. So obviously we got to mark them down. So we'll probably give them a one. So it was a really nice attempt monument. And uh, hopefully not all of your orders are like this. Hopefully this is just like a one-time thing. I hope maybe someone from Monument Metals is watching this and they can maybe <laughs> learn a little bit of something here. Uh, but they're not really holding up so far, but let's move on to quality. Let's actually look at the Eagles that I got and we'll see quality wise. So I guess we'll start off here with Monument and uh, looks like they're probably all 1987s. We might as well just pull them out. You can see here, these ones are toned. Um, so the tube is uh, technically BU, at least it, it's supposed to be BU or Brilliant Uncirculated, but we do have some toning on those eagles there. Um, and so it looks like they're all going to be 1987s. This is a random year, but every time I've ordered random year American Silver Eagles, every single one in the tube has been the same year. Uh, I've never gotten a tube of mixed years, but obviously you could. Uh, but regardless, so there is some toning on some of these. That's not great. Um, you know, it's not terrible. I'm not super sad about this. I mean, these aren't totally banged up. For the most part, these are pretty good. Uh, so I think I'll probably give them a two as far as quality goes. And, uh, you know, if the packaging was a little bit better, maybe that one wouldn't have, have had such a big scratch on it. So uh, I guess maybe packaging leads to worse quality sometimes. <laughs> but definitely not perfect BU. I mean, if I went and sent these in for grading, definitely none of these would come back like a 69 or a 70 probably. So uh, anyway, well, that's the tube of 87s. I do like that they sent me 1987s because that's an older year, but I'm gonna give them a two for quality. Okay, so Monument Metals is done with their scorecard now. We got three plus two plus one plus two, which is eight, doing public math here. Hopefully I don't mess anything up, but uh, there we go. So Monument Metals gets an eight, okay? So now we'll go ahead and look at Provident and SD as far as quality goes. And if they're both great, excellent quality, then they'll receive a tie. So let's check out this next one here. And this one is Provident. So let's get this open. I don't have any fingernails really. So let's see what year I got. 
Uh, looks to me like 2015s. Nice. I do already have some tubes of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, of 2015s. So we got another tube of 2015s, it looks like here. I do notice there is a little bit of toning on some of these ones at the bottom. You can see just by looking at the outside, there's definitely some toning on some of these. Um, not terrible. That doesn't mean they still can't be brilliant uncirculated, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a couple of these here. Just make sure they're good quality. That one looks very nice. And these are bullion. I don't mind handling these with my hands, but yeah, these do look very nice. I don't notice any scratches or anything on these. So really nice quality uh, eagles here. So yeah, very, very pleased. I don't notice any milk spotting or anything. And so these, these are definitely nice. I'm sure the whole tube looks very similar. So great quality product there from Provident. Love that. And uh, I don't know if I would ding them down for like some of these having a little toning. I mean, that's pretty common. If you go through all the eagles I have in my box, I'm sure a lot of them are similar. And so, uh, you know, that's pretty much a three as far as quality. Really happy about that. Um, you know, maybe knock them down like a quarter point or something. Obviously, the whole tube could have been, you know, perfectly white. And so, uh, oh, and it looks like maybe... Oh, that's just the space at the top. I was going to say, look at that one at the top. It's terrible. All right, let's get to the last one here, SD Bullion. And uh, this one appears to be all white, brilliant, uncirculated. That's great. Oh, there is a little bit of toning on that one right there, if you could see that. I don't know if it's really... Yeah, it's coming up. So that one right there is just a tiny bit of toning. Looks like the fourth one from the bottom. So just a hair of tarnish, but... Let's see what year I got. Very excited to see what year this is. And we got, looks like, 2013s. Okay, so we got a whole tube of 2013s likely. Let's go ahead and take a couple of these out and take a look at them. So first one here looks very good, very nice. Not noticing any scratches or milk spotting or anything. Uh, next one looks good. Yeah, these look very good. So pretty much all uh, perfect quality as well from SD Bullion, tube of 2013s there. Very nice. So I would probably give them uh, a perfect as well. You know, one of them at the bottom's got a little toning on the edge there, but that's not really anything to uh, to cry about. These ones I think had a little bit more, but again, you know, that's really common in eagles and other coins. Most silver will tarnish and tone like that over time. So I'll probably give them both threes. So we'll, it's going to be a tie, it looks like. We have to have a tiebreaker. There has to be a winner. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a rematch. Maybe I'll order something else. But uh, so they both got uh, perfect scores there. So um, as you can see by the scorecard, we have uh, SD Bullion with a perfect Provident uh, slash JM Bullion with a perfect as well. And then Monument Metals, a uh, little bit lower of a score. You know, Monument Metals, I don't want to talk bad about them. I think they're a great company. They do um, offer lots of different products, and I've never really had a bad experience. Unfortunately, the tube did come open in transit, uh, which knocked down the quality a bit. And uh, so... We had to knock them down just a hair, and they did take a little bit longer to ship compared to the other ones as well. So anyway, that was the uh, 2020 online bullion dealer battle. And uh, if you guys want me to do other stuff like this, if you like this type of video, uh, let me know in the comments section, and uh, we can definitely do more. Uh, but like I promised, as a bonus, I'll show you my extra tube I got here from my LCS. Um, obviously, they're not an online bullion dealer. Uh, it's a small shop out in Tigard. I'll actually show you right here. It's uh, Center Street Gold and Silver. If you're ever in Tigard, Oregon, you should absolutely check them out. Um, they're really awesome, really nice. Uh, the owner, Dennis, has always treated me very well. Uh, but I was down there today and picked up a tube of BU. Brilliant Uncirculated is what I asked for. And so here is the tube that he gave me, and it looks really good uh, pretty much all the way around. So that is really good quality there. Uh, as far as price, he charged me the normal price, which was that these weren't on sale. It was $2.50 over spot per eagle, so a little bit higher on price 
compared to the online bullion dealers, which were on sale. And all of those had free shipping, of course. This was free shipping, uh, and it got to me instantly. So as far as speed goes, it was instant. Now, this is 2013s. I'm already seeing some scratching on this one here at the top. Um, so not super stoked about that. But we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at these anyway. It's possible just because this one was on the very tippy top. It's been rattling around. Um, and so, oh, this one's got some scratching there as well. You can see that right there. So there's a little bit of scratching on these. Seems to be mostly in that same spot right there. Very interesting. Let's see about the reverse. Reverse looks good. Okay. So a little bit of scratching on these. You know, not massive scratches. These two look very nice. Um, and so, I, you know, I don't think these would get perfect grades or near perfect grades or anything like that. But obviously the quality is... Uh, you know, it's good. These probably would qualify as brilliant uncirculated, but not perfect. Um, so not grade worthy. But anyway, um, I would probably give them, if I was going to just rank them, probably like a 2.5 on uh, for quality on those, just because they were kind of scratched. Um, as far as price, you know, very good price, uh, probably a 2.5 on price. And then speed, they got to me instantly. So that's great. Um, and so, and then the other one was, what was the last one? Price speed. Oh, packaging, uh, packaged very well. They handed it to me. So perfect packaging. So, uh, there we go. So we got four more tubes. Let's go ahead and add these to the, uh, monster box and, uh, SD bullion. I know you guys got your sticker on there and, uh, the looking to sell, but I'm probably just going to pop that sticker off. Let's see how easy that is to pop off just so it looks like the rest of my tubes. Not that I'm I'm trying to, you know, destroy your guys' promotional stuff here. But anyway, there we go. So now it just, it blends in a little bit better, right? <laughs> a little more discreet. So let's get the monster box over here. Okay. Here we go. And this is very exciting to be adding uh, some more tubes to the monster box. I've been working on this monster box for over a year now. And it's been quite the journey as you can see, we've got 16 tubes so far. So with these purchases here, we got 17, 18, 19, and 20 tubes. So that's 400 American Silver Eagles. Oh my gosh, 80% done with the Monster Box. Um, I'm very excited with the progress that I've made. I'm super stoked. Uh, I just need a hundred more, actually a little less than a hundred more because I do have some other eagles that are in capsules and stuff like that. Uh, not quite enough for another tube, uh, but if I wanted to break those out, I could add them to this tube here that I had started, which just has one at the bottom. Um, so I guess I've got like 400 and I think 13 eagles or something like that. So awesome progress. I'm stoked on it. I can't wait to finish out this monster box. It's going to be super epic when I do. Uh, many of you know I'm in a monster box battle right now with Yankee stacking. We're racing to see who can finish first. And he only needs 35 more eagles. So I really need to turn up the gas and maybe I can catch him here at the end. But anyway, that was the 2020 online bullion dealer battle. I hope it was very informational and helpful for you who are thinking about ordering from some of these online bullion dealers. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.